project goal for first graders. You should be at least this part, at least by now. All right. I see I didn't put one of my nails in, so I'm going to get that put in right now. And then we'll just go from there. All right, so now we take the other side. All right, remember it's got two holes in it. Put them at the bottom. And these should match up on the end. Should be the same length. This one's a little longer. So I might have to see why these come out longer. But you're going to go ahead and nail them on. And then when you get both all four sides on, then you can take sandpaper, sand the bottom of this again, the side rails, and continue on from there. And then next week, we will actually go ahead and mount these pieces on here. And then you'll be sanding from there on those once they're on there. And then we'll work on putting a little bit of an edge on it so you don't have the real sharp corners. And I'll show you how we'll do that with sandpaper. It'd be real easy to do. Now on to the sixth graders. Now you should have all your pieces cut out. So now if we have all of our holes drilled in our legs and our arms, support arms. Now we have to drill some other holes in there. We've got to drill these holes here in the support arms. So what we're going to do is you're going to start with a 532nd bit, find your center, and drill a hole all the way through with the 532nd drill bit. Now here's a little trick to find the center of your board, okay? You know, this board is actually just Three quarters of an inch actually yeah, right about that a little quick way to find center I mean we know it's going to be three eighths but you can take your tape measure and put a mark go one inch on one side and match one inch up on the other side and it's going to give you the center and you'd actually mark it here at a half inch would be dead center going that way all right so you're going to drill all those with a 532nd drill bit all the way through, okay? And then you're going to go back with a 2164, and if you don't have that, you can go up a little bit. And you're going to go down 7 eighths of an inch deep. That way, when you put a screw in there, let me grab the screw. You'll be taken and putting a screw into there, and you're going to screw that all the way through there, and it's going to go into your tabletop eventually, okay? So that way when your screw goes in there, it'll seat down inside of it, and you'll have so much that will come through there that will go into the tabletop, all right? So you have that. now. Friday is the day that you pick up more stuff from school. So for you sixth graders at home, let me show you what will be at school for you to pick up. You will have a dowel rod. All right. This dowel rod you'll have, it will be at school. And this bag of screws will be taped around it, like so, for you to pick up. Now this dowel rod, you're going to cut one piece of it 12 inches long, all right? And then you're going to have to cut four one and a quarter to one and a half inches long, okay? Now what they're going to end up doing is they're going in here. Eventually, Probably next week I'll show you how to put the legs together in what fashion it's going to go together. And we'll go from there. You also need to take your cross supports. Now these are the ones that are going to go between the legs. Okay. 
And I'll show you on this other one that I have. So these pieces here are what goes there. So you're going to have to drill four holes in there, the 530 seconds. One is going to be drilled closer to the end, and the other one's going to be in. See how this one is in a little further? So it matches up like this. And I believe I last week I showed you how to do that so you can get it. But you take your board and just take two of your legs or arms and put them on there and draw your mark. Gives you what your inside mark is. And then you just lay it on there and you get your outside mark. It's the easy way instead of having to measure everything. And then you draw just between the two of them. You can see mine, you know, I measured it out here, but I'm drilled in the middle of it. So that's what you're going to be drilling for next week. And then we'll be slowly getting it all together. In the meantime, you can be sanding on your tabletops to get them nice and smooth. And then we'll talk about how we're going to round off the corners of everything that needs to be rounded. And we'll be looking at that next week and the following week. And by the end of the nine weeks, we'll have this table done and you'll be able to use it and be able to finish it however you want. Until then, have a good week. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.